Morning guys, Hong here for OG Fitness. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about uh, progression level uh, for BJJ, right? The belts and what do they mean in terms of your progression. So this is something that, oh, by the way, like the video and subscribe to my channel. And of course, click on the notification bell. I'll remind you again at the end. Uh, helps me to grow the channel. So for those of you guys who are new to the channel, I'm 41 years old, been doing martial arts for a long time. Right now I'm currently uh, brown belt in judo, going for my black belt as soon as this thing is over with. And of course I wanna go get a title. So either a national or international title. And um, yeah, I'm essentially a grappler, but I've been doing all kinds of martial arts like uh, throughout my life, right? And I, I love all of them. I just decided to focus on judo because I don't know, it's, it's fun. It's, uh, I guess my coach, uh, you know, did a good job with me. So that's the thing too. If you get a good coach, right, in any discipline, that person is gonna make you really appreciate and teach you the art properly. So yeah, I guess I'm, I'm really lucky on that. Um, okay, so let's get to it. Now, for those of you guys who practice BJJ, right, there's not that many belts, guys. There's, uh, let's see here. Uh, well, when you start off, you're white, but that doesn't really count as a belt, right? So you did after that, yeah, blue, purple, brown, and black. Okay, so there's four belts, right? And it takes years to, to get each belt. That's why it's so satisfying in BJJ when you get a belt, because it, it means you really worked for it, you know? It's not just handed out because, uh, you know, you spent, um, just because you learned a couple of techniques, you know, because there's a lot of, it's 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 highly fighting based martial art, right? I mean, it was developed like in the streets of Brazil, pretty much. Well, not in the streets, but it ended up in the streets because they were always, they were fighting all the goddamn time <laughs> to prove, the, to test their art and to, to, to prove themselves, right? So it was really, really cool uh, in that regards, you know, that's where it comes from. So it's, it's not just going in there and learning techniques and practicing katas like, there is no katas. That's that's the crazy thing with it, right? It's like straight up, this is it. These are the moves, these are the positions, yada, 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 and boom, let's go. And you just practice, practice. Of course, there's structure to it, right? Um, and structures will vary depending on uh, where you go and how, how it's being taught and all that. But I mean, okay, let me get into it. So when you're white belt, well, it means essentially you're a beginner and you don't know anything, right? Like you might know something if you did uh, another grappling art like uh, wrestling, uh, jujitsu. You might have a very strong. Uh, I mean, judo. Th then of course you'll have uh, a basis already, right? But not as sophisticated, of course. So that's why I always recommend judo players cross train in BJJ and BJJ guys cross train in judo also, right? And uh, of course you can do wrestling and all that. That's always fun. Anything, anything wrestling is going to help. In I mean, any form of grappling is going to help in any grappling specific uh, sport, martial art that you do. Okay, so white belt, you know nothing, right? Then blue belt, and by the way, this is something that was explained, I know I'm, <laughs> I'm kinda like delaying the start of the whole thing, but this is something that I got from my first jiu-jitsu coach, and this was a long ass time ago. This was when I was 30 years old. I'm 41 now, so that was, a, that was like 11 years ago when I started, and then he explained to me what the different belts meant according to him the way he was taught and of course i still remember this till this day because when i think back on it it makes a lot of sense and of course this is just a general progression level right for what it means to be at certain belts so what it means to be at blue belt what it means to be at uh, purple belt, brown, and of course, black, okay? I think it makes a lot of sense. Of course, you guys will let me know in the comments if you agree, disagree, and uh, you know, so we could have a discussion on it, generate some more ideas, and then we can keep talking and evolving together. So, white belt, you know nothing. Blue belt, <clears throat> essentially, it means that you learned how to move on the ground, so you learn how to swim, right? And you know how to defend, Right? That's the most important thing because you're spending your most of your time as a beginner. You're, 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 um, not that blue is beginner, but you, you, you pass the beginner stage, right? But you learn from white to blue, you learn how to move on the ground. So you're learning how to swim. Also, you're learning the positions and you're learning how to defend and, you know, like a, a lot of uh, the attacks, right? Because you're going to be spending a lot of time defending. <laughs> when you start off and getting choked out, tapped out, all kinds of outs, right? 
So you learn how to move, you learn how to defend, right? Of course, you learn some attacks, but for the most part, you're just getting, uh, you're the nail, you're being hammered, right? So then as you move forward, right? So that's, that's the first, first step. After that, not to say that you're not going to be able, not, not to say that you won't be able to submit people and dominate and all that, but this is just like a general guideline of what it means more or less, right? Some people will, will advance uh, faster than others and some people will advance a little bit slower. It depends on uh, your experience level, your baggage, your martial art baggage, I mean, and of course, uh, learning capabilities, how much time you practice, uh, a lot of factors, right? So, but it doesn't matter. It's about the journey, guys. It's not about, uh, you know, uh, getting to a destination and then stopping. I believe you should practice martial arts for as long as you live and uh, there's your there's always something to learn, right? And, and when you get to, even when you get to black belt, you realize there's levels to this game, right? There's levels even to black belts. There are black belts, and then there are black belts. And then within that, there's black belts, and then on and on, and all kinds of, like it's, it's, it's endless, right? It's, that's why it's such a wonderful thing. It's a lifetime thing. It's a lifetime commitment. It's, um, it's a philosophy, it's a way of being, and uh, it's, it's a beautiful thing in my opinion. So, Back to what I was saying, blue belt, you learn how to swim, you learn how to move on the ground, you have mobility, you're able to shrimp, you're able to roll on your shoulders, this and that, you're able to defend, you understand uh, the, the positions you're in, the dangers here and there, okay? And then once you get to purple belt, what that means is that at this point, you have an identity, you have a style, right? And you start to impose, you start to attack, right? So now you're not just sitting there waiting to, you're not just the nail anymore. You're starting to hammer away at people, at the nails. That's when you start. And, and I mean, it could be a bit before, right? I mean, because it takes like two, three years between belts, guys. Even longer, it depends on the school, man. So, you know, um, it, it's, it's a progression, right? So from blue to, to, to purple, what happens is that you start to develop your own style, you start to have your own preferences, you start to, to figure out what your strengths and your weaknesses are, what you like, what you don't like, and you start attacking. Now you're not just defending anymore. Now you're, 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 putting, into, you're putting into action like, okay, you know how to defend, that's not a problem, boom, boom, boom. You start attacking, you have your identity, you have your style, okay? So that's from blue to purple. Then from purple to brown, once again, it's a long ass progression, man. Like it takes years. You know, on average, it takes about 10 years, man, to get a black belt in uh, BJJ. So it's quite an achievement when you get that black belt, right? And a lot of people, for various reasons, quit uh, after blue, right? But I mean, once you're blue, you know, and, and you've been blue for a little while, I mean, man, that's that's pretty good, man. You can you can manhandle the, um, uh, the you know, the typical schmuck on the street who doesn't know anything uh, about grappling, you know? Okay, so... Purple, you have your identity, you have your style, you start attacking, right? And now from purple to brown, what happens is that you start to attack even more, but now you have a system of attack. You have an attack system, right? Like you're, you're, you know all the techniques, this and that, you have your, uh, you know how to swim, you have your identity. Now you're starting to piece things together. You know, you have a system for when you're in side guard, you do this, you do that, 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 like it becomes more and more automatic, you know? So you know exactly what you're doing in each position. And then you have like a, a couple of maybe two, three go-to techniques in every position. So if you're from the back, you'll do this, you'll do that. And then you have your options, you know, a couple of options and, and uh, um, different little combination tip, tricks and all that that you do, right? Uh, when you have somebody's back, right? When you're attacking, and of course when you're um, and uh, when you're attacking in half guard, when you're when you're in, well when you're in close guard, you're kind of you know, uh, and when you're on the mount, you do this and all that. So then now you really have you have a system of attack, right? So you have a, in, in various positions, and of course a system of defense and attack again, right? Because you always have to be attacking, in my opinion. Defense is just temporarily. Right, but then you have to go back to you know attacking, in my opinion. All right, so system of attack is developed, <clears throat> identity is established, right, and then from there, from purple to brown belt, 
Okay. Well, now in brown belt, what it is is that. Oh, sorry. I skipped a little bit too fast there. So purple belt, you have your identity. So now you have your strength, you know your strengths, your weaknesses, you're working on them and you're attacking more. Once you get to brown belt, that's when you start having systems of attack for every single position, right? So you might have two free things that you always do, right? In each position. So that's brown belt. Sorry, I, I kind of went too fast there, okay? And so from there, like now you're, you're whew, you know, already purple is advanced, guys, you know, and brown is, well, even more advanced, right? So that's, that's, that's where it is. So when you're brown belt, you have a system of, of attack and pretty much in any, any position, uh, whether it be offensive, where, whether you be on the offense or on the defense, you have your system down pat, you know? So you have two, three things that you always do. Tack, 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 tack. And then once you hit black belt from brown to black now the difference in my opinion from brown to black and this is the same opinion that was instilled in me by my uh my first bjj coach which uh, i'm still very good friends with uh i haven't seen him in a while now so i can't wait until this uh this whole thing is over and uh, i'll definitely go see him and go train with him he has his club and everything um so from brown to black what happens is that now, not only do you have a super solid system of attack, but you could just make up shit on the fly. That's it. You're highly adaptable. You've seen it all. You have experience, you know, so you know exactly what to do and you can adapt like this, like Floyd May Mayweather says, right? Like what makes him, uh, you know, the, the goat, the goat of, of boxing is that he can make adjustments right in the middle of combat, right in the middle of the match. Like, boom, boom, something's not working. Whoa, right away, right away, he makes it just... So that's what it is when you get to black belt. You're able to... You have your system in place. And then, depending on uh, what's going on, your opponent, you're able to make on-the-spot adaptations, you know? And that's that's black belt level. That's like, yeah, you know? And you know, you're, so, you know, you've been through all the steps. You've been there for a while now, probably a good 10 years or maybe... Uh, 